Welcome back to some more Happy Homes Paradise. So today, we have a little bear who wants to do riches. We have a little hamster who wants to be a movie star. The frog with a green room. Okay, I think we're going to choose this one. Frigga. What can I do for you? Ah, you build vacation homes, do you? Consider me intrigued. Well, you see, I've reached the point in my life where I'm quite successful and I'd like to enjoy a vacation home. Alright, let's chat. Oh, splendid. I'm so happy that this worked out. I'm so excited to discuss the details of my home with you. My ideal vacation home would be something along these lines. Movie projection palace. Oh, okay, you want a projector and popcorn. All right, sounds doable. Oh, that's very nice. I really like your concept. All right, now the next step is for you to choose an island for the client, Danny. Okay, an island. Let's see. Okay, I think this one will do. My, that sounds wonderful. If you can make it happen, then I can't wait to see it. Now, Frigga. We found an excellent location for you, but you'll need to see it for yourself before we begin. Danny, please leave Frigga to the site, and best of luck. Oh, what a wonderful vacation home, seeing it with my own eyes. Well, it's stunning. I'm on pins and needles to see what you'll do with it. Okay, movie projection palace. Redesigning infrastructure. You can change the look of bridges and inclines by pressing the cursor over them. Okay, okay, good to know. Pick from a bunch of different bridges. Okay. I don't know, which one would look best here? We'll just leave it at that for now. I might change it up later. Okay, and unlike the ice one that I did before, I can actually put paths here because it's just snow. Okay, so I'm going to alternate the two different types of stone path. And then we'll get this... Um... I don't know, kind of weirdish, but not weird. I don't know if I like it, but we're going to go with that for now. Thing with the Happy Home Islands, you can try things and see what you like to see if then you want to use those on your main island. I like that part of it. Okay, I think on the left side we'll go with a few trees. Of course, you can't really have a little snow place without a snowman, so definitely have a snowman. Okay, we'll add a few bushes. Okay, we'll add a bunch of vines just for a little bit of um, colour. You know what, this may end up being a bit too full. But we're just going to go with it. Okay, so we're going to go with the stone bridge and the stone um, staircase for the incline. We'll add a few different flower things to, to just to break up the space. Um, I think I've decorated like every square. You know what? This might be too full, but we'll, we'll just we'll just go with it. Oh, and the house. Let's do the house as well. Okay, I don't want it to look too similar to the other penguins' house, so we're going to go for something slightly different. Do we want a door decoration? Maybe one of the flowers. I don't know. We could do the snowflake. Oh, the, the iron thing looks okay. Hmm. 
Okay, well, we'll just go with that for now. That'll do. Let's head on inside. Whoa, that is a big box. That's a big projector. You've got a really small room for such a big projector. Are you sure you want this? Alright, well, um, let's just stick it over there out of the way for now. Alright, let's start with um, flooring and wallpaper. I like to start with flooring and wallpaper just because... Um, well, it's easier to see how the, the furniture is going to fit. See if it works well. I mean, even if I end up changing up the, um, the floor and the wallpaper later. Oh, the curtains. Yeah, I quite like the curtains. Proper movie theatre vibes. This carpet as well. Yeah, I, li I like how this looks. Mind you, is this curtain too much? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, and we need to have some spotlights. Proper little movie theatre spotlights. Yeah. Line them up as well. Should they be facing that way? Do I need to face them? Um, no, no, that'll be fine. We'll put them there. Okay, what else do we need? Let's see. Film projector? Yeah, yeah. That'll be handy. What else would go in a movie theatre? Oh, popcorn machine. Okay, a couple of extra speakers. Right, let's let's just put these let's put these around first. I like to put a bed in the homes or something else to sleep on if it's not going to be a bed. But even if they are just kind of, you know, tucked away in the corner somewhere. Oh, she likes the stereo. Yeah, we've got definitely have the stereo. I haven't noticed if she's done another heart emote. She might have done, I just missed it. Anyway, yeah, I feel like they need to have somewhere to sleep. I can't wait until I unlock the ability to make bigger rooms or upstairs. Ooh, imagine having an upstairs and a downstairs vacation home. Only problem with that is it'll probably take twice as long to decorate. I might have to get better at speeding up the decorating process. You know, less decision making. That's the problem I find. Too many decisions. So we're going to need some seating. We'll get a few drinks. Ooh, nice colourful... I don't know, cocktails, mocktails, whatever. Add some crisps. Oh, she likes crisps. All right, you know, I feel like there's too many dark bits of furniture. Let's get rid of these chairs. We'll go with it. Oh, the box sofa, yeah. And she looks like she likes pink. She's wearing a pink top. Let's go with pink. Oh, I like how this is looking. I mean, pink is really not my colour. I don't think I even own anything pink. But I like the way this pink sofa goes with the black furniture. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. I can see her sitting quite comfortably there watching, watching the big movies. Although I don't recommend sitting quite that close. Okay, do we need anything else? Okay, the more I look now, the more I think this curtain is too much. 
I think we'd be better off using the curtain as an accent wall. And going for something a little bit, maybe a bit darker. Let's go with this one. You know, this popcorn machine, can I customize that? Because it looks, the color doesn't quite go. Oh, that's better. Okay, and we can put some decorations. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's have a let's have a drinks bar. So we've got the cocktails, and then we've got a shelf full of extra drinks. Looks good. And then on the other wall, let's see what can we put on the other wall. Oh, what kind of um, stickers do we have? You can customize these stickers. Oh, I like these ones. Pink hearts. Yeah, let's go with that. She looks like a pink heart decoration kind of penguin. Making lots of assumptions about this penguin, but you know, I kind of have to if I want to design a house for her. There's only so much she can actually tell me. All right, maybe we'll put some pink flowers. No, the flowers. Pink hearts on the other wall as well. And of course you need an exit sign. I mean, you know, Stick that above the door. What else? Should we have a poster as well? Oh, that one's nice. Yeah, I like that pink there. We have a very kind of pink and black theme going on here. I hope she likes pink and black. Put the favorite picture, the favorite favorite um, favorite KK song. We'll put that up as well. And of course, we'll have your poster. Okay, a couple of extra stickers. Kind of offset them a little bit. Okay, do we need anything else? Ooh, lava lamp. Yeah, oh, nice pink one. Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, I think we're done. I mean, I think, I think the room is quite full. But you know what? There's, there's plenty of room to walk around still. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, and the crisp come in pink as well. Excellent. All right, for you. What do you think? How is my vacation home coming along? Is it ready? Yep, it's ready. Well, I'm pretty sure it's ready. Well then, I'll just have a, myself a little look around. Hey, Danny, hold up a sec. Oh, hey, Nico, what's up? Sorry, just need a moment for a quick supervisor to design a consult, if you don't mind. Wait, are you my supervisor? Hmm, I don't remember that bit. You're getting really good at this interior design thing. Oh, thanks. But I've got a cool technique to show you. Take it to the next level. Remember how Wardle made the office furniture sparkle just by polishing it? Ooh, polishing. Well, he showed me how to do it with this neat trick you can make a room's furniture shine. Get ready for Operation Sparkle. Step one, get your pot and polish it duds ready with L. All right, I can do that. Step two, face the furniture item and press A. Step three. Oh wait, there's no step three. So that's it. If you spot any furniture to do with an extra sparkle, try it out. Uh, I will do just that. Thanks, Nico. How very interesting. Well, whether or not you use it is entirely up to you. <laughs> um, sure, let's use it. Let's have a sparkly projector, shall we? Um, hang on, let me... Where am I going to stand? Ah, there we go. I'll stand here. Okay, polish and indoor items. Make an item shine and remove the shine. Oh, okay, I like that you can remove it. 
and you can have different um, strengths maybe different effects yeah she really doesn't have much room to move that's fine she got well let's say she's got plenty of outdoor space but we filled that as well oh well there we go now we're done sparkly projector and everything how's my vacation home coming along is it ready okay now it's ready you did it thank you you've dedicated so much of your time to my vacation home i could not be happier there you go now make sure you stand somewhere good so that i can get a good picture of you Okay, movie projection palace. Okay, I'm quite pleased with how this turned out. So have you guys done many many designing? Have you got a favourite uh, favourite villager that you've done the house for? Let me know down in the comments. I think I'm getting a little bit better at positioning things. I don't know. A little bit tricky because I'm trying to make sure the episodes aren't too long and I don't really want to spend ages cutting everything out thank you so much for everything you've done today now I think I'll put my feet up and enjoy my vacation home do you care to join me oh that sounds marvelous what are we gonna watch of course take all the pictures you need okay so I took that one in the in the shop but that was more for me because I don't really get to keep the captured ones well i suppose it isn't happy home network app but yeah i could probably stop doing that now okay so if you sit there then can i sit here next to you oh there's plenty of room I if i can squeeze in there okay so let's just position that we'll sit here and enjoy a nice movie what are we watching what kind of films do you like? Are you a action movie type of penguin? Are you more of a chick flick kind of movie? Okay, I think that'll do. Right, now let's see if I can get back in here to talk to you. Hmm? What is it? I'm heading back now. Thank you so much for today. And do take care getting home. Oh, don't worry about that. Nico drives the boat real well. Welcome back. How did things go? I have to think you're pretty used to the work now. It's payday again. Here's 6,000 pokey just for you. I want to thank you again for all the hard work you've been putting in. You're such a big help. That said, it's not good for anyone to work themselves too hard. So, it's break time. Go enjoy a change of pace for as long as you like. I suggest taking a walk around the whole island. Maybe I'll go out for a stroll too. I could use the steps. Oh, speaking of exercise, there are vines on the cliff nearby. Sturdy enough you can climb. You can really work up a sweat doing them. Talk to you later, Danny. Okay, so when Lottie says things like that and makes you take a break and suggests going places, it's a good idea to listen because it tends to lead to the next feature or the next something in the progression of the Happy Homes Paradise. So, for example, now, if we go outside, seems like Lottie wants something. Oh, Danny, you startled me. Uh, what's up? Well, I got lost in thought looking at this property. Have you noticed all of the unused properties around here? Before I set up shop, someone else was working on developing the island. They built all of these. But for whatever reason, it didn't work out. And I guess they just left the properties like this. Lately, I've been thinking about how we could use these properties to use. Maybe some new facilities. We had even more to offer our clients. I'm sure our vacation home business would boom. 
I just know we could breathe a lot of life into these old properties. Maybe we start with this one. I think it was originally going to be a school of some kind. Why not pick up where they left off? All I have to do is get a little paperwork in order and we can get to work. Okay, okay. Um, the brakes, Lottie. Sorry, I just got so excited when I think about business development. We're going to need more clients to make these facilities viable. So let's keep growing that client base. For now, I'll head back to the office. Come and see me when you get ready for work. When you're ready to get to work. Oh, school. Interesting. Okay, I'll be back very soon with the next episode. So in the meantime, take care. Bye for now.